Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So we are going to start for chapter 7 which is chemical equilibrium and for this session we are going to introduce to you the chemical equilibrium. So the objective of this uh, chapter we have five objectives but for this session we are going to explain reversible variation and dynamic equilibrium graph. Before we proceed with chemical equilibrium, we need to know what is reversible reaction. A reversible reaction is a chemical reaction where the reactants form products that in turn react together to give the reactants back. So this is an example of reversible reaction where A and B is the reactant and C plus D is the product. So the re reversible reaction is denoted by a double arrow which referring for the reversible arrow pointing both direction towards the product and the reactant. So this is the main part for this session which is the concept of equilibrium. So what is equilibrium actually? It is a state in which there are no observable changes as time goes by and it is mostly happen in reversible variation. The chemical equilibrium is achieved when the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reaction and when there is no further change in the amount of reactants and product. The the change in the amounts of reactant and products is referring to the concentration of the reactant and concentration of the products. As fast as something is being removed, it is being replaced again by the reverse reaction, meaning that at the start of a reversible process, the reaction proceeds toward the formation of the products. As soon as some product molecules are formed, the reverse process begin to take place and reactant molecules are formed from product molecules and at this point, they have reached a position of dynamic equilibrium. So for this figure, even uh, the water molecules are evaporated, the initial reactant of water come back by the reverse reaction. Noted that the reaction do not stop even equilibrium is achieved. So this is an example for chemical equilibrium process which involve N2O4 gas and NO2 gas. So from this uh, reversible reaction, N2O4 in temperature 200 degrees C will give to NO2 gas. So this progress of the reaction can monitor easily because NO N2O4 gas is a colorless gas where NO2 is a dark brown color that makes sometimes visible in polluted air. Suppose that N2O4 is injected in this flask and some brown color appears immediately indicating the formation of an of nitrogen dioxide gas so from this one the white color uh, molecules is for n2o4 gas and for the dark brown is referring for the uh, no2 gas The color intensify as the dissociation of N2O4 continues until eventually reach the equilibrium. So, uh, so from this one, the for this one, the dissociation starts from time to time, and for the last uh, picture. Or figure shows that the equilibrium is reached where at this point no further change in color 
because the concentration of N2O4 and NO2 remain constant. And from this uh, circle figure shows that uh, we have a significant amount of white color molecules and dark brown, dark brown color molecules. So this is the dynamic equilibrium graph uh, for the same region, the composition of N2O4 to NO2. So there are three different graphs for diff three different situations. Where for the first one we start with NO2, for the second one we start with N2O4, and for the last one we start with NO2 and N2O4. What we want to know from all of these three graphs is we want to know uh, when is the equi equilibrium is achieved from the graph. Okay, we go for the first graph where we start with NO2 uh, forming N2O4. When we start with NO2, NO2 is the reactant, thus uh, the reactant will decrease the concentration in time and the product will increase the concentration in time until it remains constant. The equilibrium here is the right of this vertical line where the first time when the concentration remains constant. Similar with if we start with N2O4. The equilibrium position is the first point where the concentration remain constant. The difference here is uh, here we start with an N2O4 where N2O4 is the reactant and as the reactant concentration decrease the concentration of the product will increase until it remain constant. And for this one is the mixture of N2O, NO2 and N2O4 here, the concentration of N2O4 increase while the concentration of NO2 decrease. So this is a mass characteristic of a system to be in equilibrium. We have three characteristics, which the first one, it must be in a closed system. The second one, the rate of forward and reverse ration are equal. And the properties such as concentration of reactants and products and the colors are constant. So that's all from me to introduce to you the chemical equilibrium. Thank you.